what I want to talk about today is the basic foundation of kettlebell work. So how the feet relate all the way through the body to the hands. It doesn't matter whether you're doing the Turkish get up, cleans, snatch, uh, you name it, kettlebell work, it's all the same. So first thing I'm going to have Erica do is demonstrate something. So Erica, what I want you to do is go ahead and just face the camera there, feet about uh, shoulder width apart, and what I want you to do is left arm straight up. Okay, with your left foot, I want you to lift your big toe up. Get the ball of your toe as high as you can get it. Okay? Okay, resist for me. Resist, resist, resist. Okay, now what I want you to do is grip the floor with your toes. So act like you're going to pick something up with your toes. Nice and tight, tight, tight. Okay, arm straight out. Okay, resist, resist, resist. Do you notice a substantial difference in your stability? Definitely. Okay, good. Do one more demonstration. Come on out over here for me, Erica. Go ahead and go down on your hands and knees. Hands directly underneath your shoulders. There you go. So what I want you to do is take your right leg and I want you to push it straight out for me. There you go. So I want you to resist for me. Resist, 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 resist. Okay, good. Now, now what I want you to do is the same thing. So I want you to put your left arm out and your right leg out as well. Okay, straight out. Now resist, resist, resist. Okay, she, she's much stronger. Do you notice the substantial difference in that? Okay, so that's how the body relates to opposite. So, for instance, in a Turkish get up, if we're, if we're not packing that shoulder and really, really extending it out with a good grip, we're going to be weak over here. So that's kind of how it relates. So, again, this goes with every movement we do. But for today, we're going to do a Turkish get up. Real quick, we're going to talk about safety. So this is muscle memory. I don't care if you're working with a light kettlebell or a heavy kettlebell, it should be the same all the time. Um, you want to assist that arm up, hold it, get it set, hand goes to a 45 degree angle, it's equal with the leg, so she's going to pack that shoulder in real good, nice tight grip with her left foot, she's going to grab the floor with that, with, with, with her foot. So what that does is when she grabs the floor and she grips it, it also ignites the calves, the shoulder, uh, the thigh and the hips all the way through. Here by gripping the bell, packing the shoulders, it ignites her um, lats. So it's, she's working all the way through to the core. So go ahead and go to your first position. She goes up. Now with her right arm, hold that position for a second. What she's gonna do is she's turning her, actually the other way, really packing it in there. There you go. So she packs her shoulder in, gets it nice and tight. That ignites the lats. So when she, when she moves to the next position, she's gonna set her knee right where her butt was. That's perfect position. Then as she comes up, so you know she's gonna be, she's looking up with a peripheral. She hasn't got her head really tight. She's not like stiff looking up. Okay, go ahead and go to the next position. Perfect. Okay, so now on the way back down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about it, how, how it goes in the reverse position. Go ahead and start with your kettlebell up. Pack that shoulder real good. There you go. Step back. Okay, so in this position, what she's going to do, she's going to shift her hip straight out. As she strips her, push her hip out, she's going to run her hand down her thigh and get her position for her hand. Perfect. From there, she's going to step on through and she's going to set her butt right where your knee is once again. Perfect position. Keeping that everything real nice and tight. Okay, go ahead and finish on down to the church. Return. There we go. Hand goes back up to the top. She guides the bell back down. What I want you to do is demonstrate how you would bring the bell around to the other side for me, Erica. So she brings it around the head. Again, muscle memory. It's a light bell, but if you do it, do it with a light bell, you're going to do it with a heavy bell. And then that also repositions you, repositions you for the next uh, Turkish get up. Awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate it, Erica. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.